Hello everyone, bonjour, bonsoir, welcome back. I'm gonna show you guys in this video how I slick down my little tiny, teeny weeny afro TWA um, to make it into a sleek short look as you see here. Stay tuned if you would like to see. All right, so this is my hair three months after cutting my locks off. If you guys haven't seen that video, go see it crazy comments under that video but that's okay so first I moisturized using olive oil hair lotion and I'm gonna pick it out just to make sure everything's open and ready to be manipulated um, my hair is really kinky but it's very fine at the same time which makes manipulating it very easy like it takes any shape that I want it to So first I'm going to do my side part, figure out where I want my part. I like my part to the side, so I'm going to go ahead and perfect it using some edge control. It is called She Is Bomb. I wanted to try it because I saw it on Instagram and I was like, let me just support her and see, you know, see how the product works. So I put the edge control on the part itself and then I'm going to go back through and use my rat tail comb to get some precision in that part. What's the point of having a part if it's not precise, right? So once I get that part together, I'm gonna go ahead and add the edge control to my entire head by section. Now, my, I'm really just experimenting with this whole slick down thing. So this is my first time ever doing this as you're watching it. So I was freaking out. Once I did that first strip on the side of my head, I was like, what the crap is this? It gets better, so hang on. But <laughs> when I first started trying to, you know, brush my hair back or do some type of slick style, I was just using water and oil to moisturize. And then, and then um, I started using Eco Styler, but I didn't really like how that looked. Um, so, this is my third attempt at slicking down and I'm using the She Is Bomb and I decided to record it just to share with you guys what the results would be, whatever they would, would turn out to be. I still would have shared the video. So I'm still freaking out. I don't know what I'm doing with that little, uh, <laughs> my husband's laughing at me. I don't know what I'm doing with that little um, sideburn thing. Like I don't even do that, but we'll see. But I'm still freaking out at this point because the gel looks very cakey, packed on. I look like a baby cow that just came out of its mother. So yeah, definitely just keep 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 watching, keep watching. It gets better. But I'm pretty much going through each section. I used to do this with the Eco Styler also. Go through each section and just make sure it's evenly distributed throughout my hair. And go in with the brush. And once again, it looks, it, the texture is looking like it's looking right now. It's looking a little straight only because my hair is so fine. So it, it, it's really easy to manipulate my hair. But I didn't straighten it or nothing. I didn't blow it out or any, there was no heat. This was pretty much my hair after washing and drying overnight. And then I woke up the next morning. It was, was it the morning? No, this is the nighttime. I went through the day with my little fro and then nighttime I'm doing this because the next morning I have to fly out to another state for a business meeting so after brushing it brushing the the gel or the edge control in I used some mousse because I didn't want it to stay straight I didn't want it to look like um I didn't want it to look straight at all I wanted some type of texture in there so I'm loosening it up with the mousse because the ed that particular edge control dries it's like a fast drying edge control so it dries really quickly and once it dries it is not moving it's not moving <laughs> so I put the mousse in there to try to get my hair to do do a little something give it a little freedom to move so here I'm adding water and the water is helping me mold it even more and also it's helping me remove excess gel or edge control from my head. So the only way to really make this move, make this your hair move after applying the edge control is to add water to it and then let it dry. You can also 
apply heat to it to help it dry faster or heat or just air from a blow dryer but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna wrap it after and let it dry on its own now for a slick style I ended up leaving leaving this style in for um, a whole day and then half a day so almost two days but it's pretty much you have gel sitting on your head and your hair and I know a lot of people are used to that I'm not used to that so I couldn't leave it in for more than two days and then the gel starts to get old so you don't want it to look all white and cakey and nasty you know but you, as you see right here, it's getting better, right? It was it was looking really bad in the beginning, but it's getting better. My hair doesn't look too um, discolored. You can still see my natural hair color. And here I'm just trying to get my edges together I don't like the whole baby hair thing I like it on other people not on me it doesn't look good on me my forehead's too big for all that I love my forehead but I know what works for me and what doesn't work for me that's not one of them um, so I'm trying to just get my edges to look put together I was originally gonna do like a sponge style where you like sponge your fro to um, get my hair business ready but I was like, you know what, let me try this slick style, see how it works. Maybe next time I'll do the sponge style and show you guys that too. And I was going to do the little sideburn thing, but to be honest, y'all, that's not even me. The sideburn thing not even me. So I just brushed them things back. And I feel like that looks more pulled together for my face. And the comb actually really helped distribute the hair the gel throughout my hair even better that way my hair can take the shape that it likes as I'm sleeping and I have it wrapped up I'll also have the link in the description for the she is bomb edge control I'll also have the link for um, all the products that I've used in this video which are not too many it's just the mousse the hair lotion the edge control brush comb and the wraps that I'll be using toward the end all right so I'm somewhat satisfied with my results and as you can see it got better <laughs> it got so much better I was ready to wash it out but it got better so I'm just gonna wrap it up um, wrap my entire head with these wrap strips. I use them to set my hair. I use them when I cut hair too. Um, Cause I use them as barber strips when I cut hair and then I use them um, to set the front of the head when I retwist and to protect it when it's under the dryer. So once I wrap my whole head with the wrap strips and I'll have that in the description or the link, the link in the description also, I'm gonna tie my hair up with my bandana, my Zoll bandana. And pretty much that's how I'm gonna sleep tonight. And of course, don't forget to clean your instruments, clean whatever you use, because that's a lot of gel that's sitting in there. Because whenever you, you go through with the comb or the brush, it picks up some gel. So you can use Shape Ship, you can use Barberside, Barbicide, not Barberside, Barbicide to clean your stuff and sanitize it. So that's the finished product of what my little toi looks like. Slick down. And this is after I took the wrap strips out an hour later just to see what it's looking like. And this is the next day, right before I flew out. I wanted to show you guys what shape it took after sleeping on it. And this style really held up. It held up for the entire two days that I wore it. This is when I got to my hotel room that evening. Everything's still looking good. And what I did the next morning, the morning of my meeting, is I added some water to it again and brushed it down and tied it up for a few minutes, used the dryer, and this is what it's looking like. I ended up vlogging about this trip, so if you guys would like to see that, definitely go to my vlog channel, subscribe. I will be uploading that soon.
bye guys thank you for watching